What's up everybody? My name is Will and uh, you clicked on this video to learn a little bit more about ABGs which is something that we all have trouble with when we first start learning. So this is going to be a quick brief video explaining ABGs. Hopefully by the end of it it's not so scary and you've got a pretty good handle on it, okay? So let's just dive right into it. To put it simply, an ABG is just an arterial blood gas. It's drawn from the radial or brachial sites uh, for the most part and it tells it tells us you know what the pH in the blood is, how well is the blood oxygenated, it tells us what the CO2 levels are, and the bicarb which is represented as HCO3 on the strip. Okay, so let's go over the normal ranges for these levels okay, that you're going to see on the ABG. pH, the levels are 7.35 to 7.45. The CO2, which is resp it's representative of the respiratory function, it's 35 to 45. And then your bicarb, which is HCO3, is 22 to 26 and that determines like the metabolic state in the body okay and we're going to go over that more in detail in a second okay so we're clear on what the values are we're looking at we're looking at for the purpose of ABGs we're looking at pH CO2 and then the bicarb now if the pH is low that means it's acidic if the pH is high then that means it's an alkalitic environment okay now there's a ton of different ways I've seen people explain you know how to tell if it's metabolic or if it's respiratory acidosis you know I've, I think I've seen like the tic-tac-toe method um, there's other ways what I've always used is the Rome mnemonic okay R-O-M-E and what that stands for is R is respiratory O is opposite okay M is metabolic E is even so you've got respiratory opposite metabolic even. If you have a pH that is low and a CO2 that is high, which I'm saying CO2 is going to be like 55, it's higher than normal. You see how those two are opposites? That means that the pH is being caused by a respiratory issue. CO2 that we, we know CO2 is acidic, okay? So if you have a high level of that acid, of that carbon dioxide in your body, you're going to have a low pH. Now there are some cases where you have a low pH and you have a low respiratory level. Like the pH is 7.2 and your CO2 level is 22, okay? That means that it is not a respiratory problem. That means that the acidosis is not being caused by the respiratory problem. So it would be a metabolic acidosis. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's the RO for the Rome mnemonic. Let's go to the ME. So, like I said, if you have a low pH, like 7.2 and then your bicarb is also low do you see how they're equal on the high low scale there's no official high low scale but do you see how they're equal they're both low that means it's a metabolic acidosis okay so if your bicarb is less than 22 it's low your pH is less than 7.35 is low then you know it's a metabolic problem okay it's not being caused by a respiratory issue which um, you know the respiratory function could also be low as well there's low CO2 levels metabolic even that's the ME in Rome if those two are equal levels then you know it's a metabolic a issue now at the end of this video I'm going to include some practice examples and things like that to try to get you a handle on it but um, I think if you just recognize the Rome mnemonic and keep that in your head that's really all you need to know and that's helped me tremendously so we went through the Rome mnemonic we kinda get a handle we got a handle on like recognizing is it respiratory or is it metabolic? Is it acidosis respiratory or metabolic? We kind of know what that is, right? So that's always going to be your first step when you're interpreting ABGs. Is it respiratory or is it metabolic? What is it? Now you look at partially compensated. Is it uncompensated or is it compensated? Now that's, that's the next step here and just throwing this out here, compensated, it means by definition that it's corrected, right? So it, it, it's done for. I mean, it's already been fixed. That's what the compensated means. So if you're having a compensated metabolic acidosis, you're gonna have a normal pH value. Just scratch that off, that's the easiest one to know. If it's compensated, the pH is normal. So let's get into partially compensated and uncompensated. If it's partially compensated, if you have a pH of 7.5, it's a high pH, it's alkalitic. It's a respiratory al alkalosis, so that means you have a low CO2. So your CO2 is 
well, a 30, I don't know. I'm throwing numbers out, okay? So your body's gonna try to compensate to get the pH back down, okay? I'm using my hands a lot. I hope this is helping you as much as it helps me. <laughs> so it's a respiratory alkalosis, so what has to compensate is the metabolic part over here, right? So what would bring down the alkalosis, right? More acidity. So the bicarb will drop. So if it's partially compensated, you're going to have bad values all over the place. None of them are going to be normal. You're going to have an abnormal pH. It's partially compensated. It's not normal. It's respiratory alkalosis, so you already know respiratory is going to be abnormal. But your metabolic, your bicarb, is going to be acidic, which means it's going to be less than 22. And that means it's compensating. It's trying to bring down that pH. Now, your bicarb will drop to like a low level, and as soon as that pH gets in normal range, the body's going to try to fix itself, right? It's trying to shift. It's trying to get everything here. Right now, we're all out of whack, and it's trying to compensate. So that's partially compensated. And uncompensated means that, let's go with a metabolic acidosis, okay? Low pH, um, we'll go 7.1, I don't know. And then you've got a low bicarb, metabolic acidosis. If it's uncompensated, then that respiratory, it's not done anything. The carbon dioxide, it's not shifted one way or the other. It's not even tried, it doesn't care. It hasn't even tried to correct the pH in your body. So your respiratory level is going to be, your CO2, I'm sorry, is going to be normal. It's going to be between 35 and 45. Now, just a pop quiz here. If it was going to compensate for metabolic acidosis, which way would the rest, which way would the CO2 move? Would it go up or down? So up is acidotic. We're already acidotic. It doesn't need to go up. So if it was going to compensate, the CO2 would drop, right? Everything would drop, and that would bring it to be like a more alkalitic environment. So I hope that clears up everything on the ABGs, okay, guys? Um, if if it doesn't, don't worry. At the end of this video, I'm going to include some practice examples, okay? So you can kind of see it on paper. You're not just watching my hands, okay? Because it helps me. Maybe it confuses you. I'm not sure. Um, but thank you for watching. Stick around for some practice examples. Um, if you have any kind of comments, questions, um, advice, leave it in the comment section below. Um, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos. And as always, thank you for watching. Thanks. All right, guys. So if you take a look at the left, you'll see the values. Um, here we have a pH of 7.52, which is high, and a high pH is alkalosis. Okay, the CO2 is 32, which is low. The bicarb or HCO3 is 23, and that. That looks normal to me. So we know we have an alkalosis. Now is it respiratory or is it metabolic? So let's go through the Rome mnemonic. Um, respiratory is opposite. Um, to me it looks like the pH is high, CO2 is low. That matches, that matches the mnemonic. So we know it's a respiratory alkalosis. The bicarb here is actually normal, so it's not really, not really doing anything. So that leads us to, is it compensated, uncompensated, partially compensated? Well, it's uncompensated. It's uncompensated because the bicarb isn't really helping. We know the pH is high because of the CO2, so what's the bicarb doing? Well, nothing. So that's why it is uncompensated respiratory alkalosis. The next slide we have here, the pH is 7.22, which is low. Um, that's the state of acidosis. Um, the CO2 is 25, which is low. The bicarb is 18, which is low. So all of them are low. It's an acidosis. Now, is it respiratory or metabolic? Let's go through the Rome mnemonic. Um, pH and CO2 are equal. I mean, they're both low, so it's even. That doesn't match. Uh, respiratory has to be opposite. Now, the bicarb and pH match. They're even. They're both low, so we know that's a metabolic issue. Um, it's a metabolic acidosis. So now that we know that, let's move on. Is it compensated? Is it partially compensated? Well, it's partially compensated just for the fact that the CO2 isn't normal. Um, all of the values are abnormal, so that leads you to think that it's partially compensated. Um, that CO2 is trying to bring the pH up, 
but it hasn't yet, so it's partially compensated. Now, I'm, I don't have a slide on compensated issues because if the pH is normal, if that pH, all the values were the same, but that pH read 7.40, then it would be a compensated metabolic acidosis, okay? So, I mean, that one's a really easy one. Compensated, normal pH. In this case, the pH was low, so it's a partially compensated metabolic acidosis. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.